Welcome to my YouTube talk. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny, but you can call me Nini Bestie. Hey y'all. In this video, I am going to be giving y'all all the tips, the tricks, the needs to knows, how to step by step become a YouTuber. So y'all know I got my iPad. And y'all know when I get my iPad out, it's going to get real. I've been listening to y'all request and y'all wanted a video on how to become a YouTuber, how to do everything you need to do to do what you need to do to do what you need to do. If you have not seen my last video on... Um, my first YouTube check, how I became paid, and all those different things. Go watch that. I think right now it's at 71K. Y'all blew that thing up. <laughs> Y'all blew that thing up. But, um, yeah, go watch that because this is kind of a continuation of that. But, like, you don't need to watch it to watch this, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before we get into the video. If you're new here and you don't know if you like, you're going to like it here, don't worry, you can like, comment, and subscribe at the end because I promise you, you're going to love it here. <laughs> um, the last time I made a video, oh, two weeks ago, I had just hit 3K. Um, I am now at 5K. Love y'all down. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank the Lord. Thank God. <laughs> and yeah, y'all know I don't like to ch chat too much in videos like this. Go watch some vlogs if y'all want to see me chop it up. We finna get into the video. Step number one, how to become a YouTuber. If you are watching this right now, you are already well on your way. Step number one is watch YouTube. Listen, y'all, this will seem simple, but a lot of people just want to do it because they want to make money and, you know, it sounds cool, it sounds cute. How you want to start a YouTube channel and you don't watch YouTube? I, it's beyond me. You need to watch YouTube. Like... I'm an avid YouTube watcher. It don't have to be that much for leisure, you know? Everybody is different, but you need to be in a research period. Before I started my YouTube channel, I wasn't just like, girl, yeah, I'm gonna start. I was watching videos like this. I need to know how to make it, what kind of ideas that I can like start my channel with so that people will watch it to give me a little traction. Like, I watch so many videos. There are so many videos out about how to start a YouTube channel how to grow your YouTube channel, etc., etc. So if you hear, you you on the right road. Also, I would say watch um different videos and look at different like types of entertainment, different niches, and kind of decide what you want to do. Like my channel, I didn't really pick a niche. Like some people have channels that de dedicated specifically to this self help. This is not a self help channel. I'm gonna tell y'all something. <laughs> I love y'all dearly, especially my 5K supporters. Go watch a different video. Don't just watch the helping videos. Like, I love y'all dearly, but dang. I can't keep posting if everybody only want to see this. Like, this is not a self-help channel. I just love y'all, so I'm going to help y'all out. And also, I get paid for this. So, I'm going to do a video every now and then that does well. I'm keeping it 150 with y'all. That's just that. Go watch a vlog or something. Like, girl, dang. I be having a good time. Y'all going to have a good time. Like, <laughs> But anyway, there's a whole bunch of different niches. Self-help channels. There's reaction channels. There's um, vlog channels. There's, I don't know, beauty, makeup, hair. Like, there are so many options out there of things that you can do. Mugbangs. Like, you need to, you don't have to pick a niche, but kind of know what your channel is going to be. Figure that out. You need to figure that out immediately before you even decide to start a channel what is your channel what is it going to be about what are you going to be doing why would people want to watch so figure these things out watch other people if you like the video what about this did i like what can i bring from this video into my channel you know do your research do your re search okay my channel y'all see what i do i sprinkle sprinkle a couple self-help videos in here every now and then I love, I love, love, love my I'm just a girl content. My channel, my niche is just being a girl. I promise y'all. 
We going to Target. We going shopping. We doing vlogs. I'm doing whatever I feel the need that I want to do because I want to do it and because that's just my life and I'm having fun. So really my channel is kind of like a vlog channel, but you know, I'm just living life. I'm just a girl. That's my channel. So even if you don't know what you want to do, just do whatever and you know, eventually you'll lean in a certain direction because I mean, maybe one day I'll pick a specific niche and that'll be that, but I just post what I want to. So watch you some YouTube and watch some videos and figure some things out. Step two, equipment. You're gonna need the equipment. What are you gonna record with? Are you gonna record with your phone? Are you gonna record with a camera? I don't know, you tell me. Research, research, research. You can watch videos on this on TikTok, on YouTube. You can go on bestbuy.com, Amazon, whatever you need to go on to look at cameras. Do not just randomly pick a camera because I did that, but I'm gonna put y'all on what I use. So. My very first camera was this girly. Very cutesy. Very cutesy. She comes out like that. So the camera's touch screen. See? This was my very first camera. This is a Sony ZV-1F. Sony ZV-1F. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Don't remember how much it cost. It was anywhere between like 400. Um, I think between 400 and 500 dollars. But if I'm over exaggerating, I'm just gonna put it on the screen for y'all. Um, you know, so y'all know how much this costs. Disclaimer: You do not have to spend a lot of money. It is perfectly fine to use your phone. I'm gonna get to that in a second. I'm just letting you know the camera I use. Okay. I had a shopping addiction, I bought another camera, and that's the camera I'm currently recording on now. The camera that I'm recording on now, I'm gonna start a video, cause obviously I can't show y'all it, and you know, I'm filming on it. I'm gonna insert a video here. But the camera I'm recording on now is the Sony ZV-1. So this is the ZV-1F, this is the ZV-1. The ZV-1 is better than the ZV-1F. This is a beginner vlogger's camera. This is a slightly better camera. I also have the Rode Video Micro mic, and that's the mic on my camera. It's really big, it's really cute. I love the sound on it, and honestly, I just think it's cute. Like, when I go out and I'm using my camera, I really look like a vlogger. <laughs> but keep in mind, I have a shopping addiction, so I was just buying stuff, and you know, that's one of the best mics on the market, and it, it's cute, like, why not? So, you need a camera. You don't just need a camera though. Don't just buy a camera. You need accessories, okay? First and foremost, the most important, SD cards. You ain't gonna just need one, you gonna need multiple. So I have my little SD card holder and these are all my SD cards. I have four. Um, I first had the 64 one when I started, but you gonna need way more storage than that. What I do is the best ones to get are the 512 gigabyte ones. Um, they last the longest. Obviously, they have the most storage on them. You need to learn how to work your SD card. You need to learn how to format your SD cards. There are vid many videos on that. Um, and formatting just means erasing everything on it so you can keep using it. That's it. Um, you're going to need your SD card. And then with that, you are going to need ooh, these little toggles. And so this one, I got off. I got this off Amazon. I'll try to link all the things that I bought um, for my vlog equipment. I will try to link it um, in the description below, hopefully. Um, I'll try to link it for y'all. But I got both of these off Amazon. So this one is USB-C. Looks like this. And it has, uh, for the mini, micro SD, the SD, and then whatever that is. This goes into, it's USB-C, so it goes into your iPad, and it'll go into um, your computer. I have a MacBook, it goes into my MacBook, and I also have an iMac, and it goes into my iMac too, as y'all can see back there. So, you're going to need one that goes into, if you're editing on the iPad, you need USB-C one that goes into your iPad. If you're editing on your MacBook, you need this to go into your MacBook. They do have ones that are not USB-C, they're just USB if you're going to be editing on um, software that's not Apple. And then this one, also if you got the new phone, this will go on there too. Um, and then this one, 
obviously goes into the regular iPhone and it looks the same. And you, you put the SD card in here. You put the SD card in and then you'll just plug it up like that to your device that you're editing on and then you can transfer all the files from your camera and videos from your camera onto your iPad. And so the fun thing about having a camera is that if you have multiple SD cards, you can use a SD card um one for vlogging one for pictures for your instagram and then take the pictures as soon as you take your pictures on your camera you can take that sd card out put it in here stick this in your phone and boom you got your pictures so you are going to need these i suggest you get one for your phone one for your computer your ipad whatever because if you're on the go and you need to spit out a video real quick the one for your phone is gonna come in handy all right you're gonna need that the next thing you're gonna need Batteries. You're going to need batteries. Batteries, batteries, batteries. I have these Sony batteries. I got about seven of these, y'all. My camera is not going dead. Um, one thing I need to know about these Sony cameras, they go dead like this. My camera's not going dead. I'm going to finish the vlog. At the end of the day, I have seven batteries. It comes with two it comes with a charger. I keep them charged. As soon as a battery's gonna die, I pop it out, pop a new one in. You're gonna need hella batteries. Do not, do not just have one battery. You're gonna be looking crazy. You need tripods. Y'all got tripods for days. You need them. Let me show y'all. The first tripod I have is this little bitty tripod from Ulanzi. Ulanzi is a very great brand on Amazon that has a lot of stuff for camera equipment. I suggest you looking into Ulanzi. This is a small little tripod, very cutesy. And it does what it needs to do. Props out. Put my camera on it. Especially when I'm doing videos like this. Like right now, my camera is currently sitting on a candle from Bath and Body Works. And some Target Body Butter Oil. I just get it how I live it. But in other cases, tripod like this. It comes out very short and then like it moves of course and then like so it can be selfie stick vibes or it can just be tripod vibes that's my first tripod i use this for when i don't need to do too much you know the second tripod i got a lot of people asked me about this in that target video um that kind of went viral on mine and got asked like how did i prop the camera up on the basket to make it look like very professional this i got this from either Amazon or Five and Below, I believe. I'm gonna link it. I think it was from Amazon. You need one of these. It's just a bendy tripod. You need one of these. You need it, okay? I don't know what type of content you need, but you might need it because it's cheap and it bends each and every way. So I will literally put my camera on it right here and wrap and twist this and lock it on whatever I need to and it won't move. This is like holy grail. It's perfect, honestly. And you can straighten it out. It might take 10 years, but you can straighten it out and like hold it like regular. This does not go up and down. It's stationary, okay? Lastly, but surely, you're going to need you an industrial tripod. Keep in mind, y'all, all of this stuff is not like hella, hecka expensive. Like, it's just not. Um... Obviously, you can get it over time or you can get it all at once or do whatever floats your boat. But all of this stuff is not expensive and you don't have to get exactly what I have. So, I will link it. But you can get something of the sort that's even cheaper. So, this is my industrial tripod, y'all. She has a little control thing that I don't really use. But it's long. It's long. It's long. Like, okay. She does the thing. She gets the job done. You need another tripod. So that's three tripods that I have. I also have another one specifically for my phone. And it's very tall. Um, sometimes you need to use your phone as well as your camera to get different views of content. But that's a certain niche. That's a niche where like you're really giving aesthetic. So I need to get myself walking towards this view. But I also need to get the back view of me walking away. That's a niche. So if you kind of want to do videos like that. Um, get one for your phone as well that turns your phone sideways. So, you need tripods, y'all. It's important. Get them tripods. Okay, now that you got your equipment, you should have everything you need for equipment. Step three, download your important apps. 
Okay, I'm pop these apps in the corner. I'm gonna tell you what you need for in a second. You're gonna need Canva. You're gonna need YouTube, obviously. You're gonna need YouTube Creator Studio, and you need an editing software. And you have to, you need to get familiar with these platforms, y'all. Canva, you're gonna need to design your thumbnails. YouTube, obviously, I just told you, you need to be watching YouTube. If you don't got YouTube, but you want to do YouTube, I don't get it. YouTube Creator Studio, you're going to need that. Um, If you watched my last video, I kind of went more into depth about why you need that. But you need that to track your process, your analytics, to see what you're getting paid, um, to see who's viewing your videos, how many subscribers you have. Like, you're going to need YouTube Creator Studio. And then for editing software, I have CapCut and I also have Final Cut Pro. CapCut is free. Final Cut Pro is not, but you pay for Final Cut Pro one time. I paid for it with my computer. I think if I'm not mistaken, it was like $150, but I just paid for that like with my iMac. But you don't need that. CapCut is the most, well, I don't want to say the most easiest because when I watch videos when I was about to start YouTube, some people were using iMovie and things like that. I don't know how to use that. What I do know how to use is CapCut. And there's a lot of tutorials out there about it and everything like that. CapCut is very, very, very easy to use. Um, even though I have Final Cut Pro, I still use CapCut because for Final Cut, I use Final Cut Pro to cut my videos down, to edit the videos, to piece the videos together. And then I transfer my video, my done video to CapCut. And then I use CapCut for text to put all the text um, information and the effects and everything like that. So um, both are good apps, but you can do... Most of a lot of things you can do on CapCut on Final Cut Pro, you can do on CapCut. CapCut, y'all know I can too. But I just got Final Cut Pro because I kind of wanted to get like an editing software that was a little more professional and that will. Um, CapCut takes up a lot, a lot of space. It also is finicky um, because. When you use CapCut, you can't transfer your video straight from the SD card onto the editing software. You have to save it to like your iPad or save it to your computer or save the videos to your phone, which takes up so much storage so that you can then put the videos on CapCut. I could not take it. I could not stand it. On Final Cut Pro, I can literally take the videos directly from um, the SD card onto Final Cut Pro and I don't have to put all that data and stuff and stuff on my um my computer so choose your editing software i definitely recommend CapCut to start out absolutely um i still use it obviously for every video but it's just not that conducive for storage so you might have storage problems and i'm just warning you about that but you need to kind of get familiar with these platforms get familiar on how to use them watch videos on how to use them because these are things that you're going to be using every single time step four the fun part build your channel gotta build that channel y'all you gotta build your channel these are things you need to do you need to design your channel and you can do this with canva so you need to design your oh your banner there we go so this is your banner This is your banner. So when y'all click on my channel and go visit my channel, you see this. Very cutesy, very, very demure, okay? You need to design your banner. And this is something that you can do on Canva. So you go on Canva and maybe I'll try to create a new one for y'all so y'all can see. I'm gonna try to insert that into the video. Y'all know I'm doing this for y'all. Okay, you go on Canva. All you have to do is search up YouTube banner template templates will pop up you can pick a template that you like and enter your youtube name in it and enter like at the bottom like mine it has like my uh instagram and my tiktok handle right there so if it says stuff like that you can enter your own information and then just use that and then you go on youtube you press edit and then you know you'll insert your banner you want to pick your profile picture again girl Y'all, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, you pick your profile picture. Most importantly, you want to pick a handle. Mine is Mimi's flowering. Please pick a handle that you're going to be okay with because sometimes I'm like, dang, maybe I should have just had my channel like Nini Marie or something like that. But mine is Nini, Nini's flowering. I cannot change it. I'm pretty sure I cannot change it, but if you know I can change it, comment below and let me know. I don't think I would, but you know. Also, I would suggest doing a bio too. 
So this is my bio. You can't. Let me. It's right here, but like you can't see my whole bio. So like, if you really wanted to know what it says, you kind of just have to click on it. Everybody's not that interested, but some people might be. Now you need the intro and outro. A lot of people have been asking about this. My intro, I got. I paid for my intro. Um, I put her name right here just in case anybody wants to purchase it. Um, y'all an intro. Um, I found her on TikTok. Um, and I follow her on Instagram. And I purchased the intro from her. Before that, I created my own intros, but I wasn't really feeling it because it kind of felt like more childish and hers felt more professional. Um, but you can also go on CapCut, search up YouTube intro templates, and then you can literally insert insert all the videos or the pictures that you want in your intro in there. You can also pay for one like I did. Not a big deal. It was $75. I think it was like $75, $65. I don't remember. But, you know, I feel like it wasn't really that cheap. One thing I would say, when you're starting your YouTube channel, you know, some people are worried about, like, not being able to afford to buy a lot of things. And some people are like, should I buy it because I have the money for it, but should I buy it? And that was kind of me. Two things can be true at once. Don't spend a lot of money, but you can also invest in yourself. I spent $75 on my intro, but the month that I spent $75 on my intro, I made $178 on YouTube. So I got my money back. Plus more, if you see what I'm saying. So I did invest in myself. And um, obviously, early on, when I was buying all this equipment, I wasn't making no money. I just started making money. But I was just investing in myself because I knew that this is something I really wanted to do. So I was going to put my money, time, and effort into it. And I did. And it is paying off, literally, okay? <laughs> so, um, you know, you don't have to buy a lot. But if there's certain things that you want, like I knew I wanted a professional intro, you can pay for that. Like it's fine. But if not, you could take the easy way out, just like I did with four different intros, and just use the um, the templates that people place on CapCut for you. They do that for a reason. So step five: social media and links. Okay, this is important. You need to change your social media handles. Okay, I had to do this. By that, I mean my Instagram was underscore, underscore, underscore dot Marie. My TikTok was the Nene Marie. My Snapchat was Destiny dash my last name. Like, my handles were everywhere. Who is going to be able to find you if you have 10 different names on 10 different accounts? Make it make sense. You need to have them all be cohesive. Now, obviously, you cannot change your Snapchat handle. So, my Snapchat handle is what it is. It's Nene-Marie, I think. I'm pretty sure. But Instagram and TikTok, I changed my names to just the Nene-Marie. The Nene-Marie. They're all one. They're cohesive. Nobody's really checking for my Snapchat right now. Maybe when I hit 100K, people going to want to see what I'm doing in my daily life on Snapchat. But for now... People are going to follow your Instagram and people are going to follow your TikTok. A lot of people that have DM me on Instagram, love y'all real bad. If I have not got back to your DM, I will try to. I've been busy, y'all. Like, I've been tired of busy. But anyway, people that have DM me on Instagram have also followed me on TikTok because my names are the same. So you want people to be able to find you. Um, also, you want to create a link tree. This is optional. You know, link tree is not free. It costs like $13 a month or something like that. But I do create a link tree because I put my link tree in my bio on my YouTube. I put my link tree in my bio on my TikTok and on my Instagram. That way some people can just click on your link tree and they can see all the options you have on there. So right now I think my TikTok, my Instagram, my YouTube, as well as um, a playlist for all the... Um, it's like a Christian song playlist, um, you know, for people that are not a fan of or want to stop listening to so much secular music. So I have a couple things on there. Um, if you start expanding to other platforms and doing like um, your TikTok shop or doing things like oh, your Amazon storefront, you want to link all that in your link tree. So it is nice to get a link tree because you never know what you're going to be doing. Um, you might do, you might become somebody's brand ambassador. Um, I did that for a little while for like Christian hoodies or whatever. And I put that in there um, so you can get my, I don't think I put it in there actually, but I could have put that in there so people could be able to use my code and get 30% off. So you can put a lot of things business wise in your link tree. So it is conducive to get 
Step six, create a YouTube video. Pick a video idea you want to do and just create the video. Record yourself doing whatever you want to do. Um, and a huge hint that you're going to need, and I'm going to tell you why in a second, is that you need to take pictures along the way. So say that you were out doing a Target video real quick. Take pictures of your things in the Target basket. Take pictures of the really cutesy little owl with all the soaps and deodorants and stuff like that take a picture of that take a picture of the target logo take a picture of yourself holding something in target like take pictures always forget to take pictures and then i end up with shitty thumbnails take pictures y'all step number seven edit the video this is where your editing software comes in for those who have a camera I told you you're going to need an SD card. That's what you was recording with in your camera. You take it out. You put it inside the little adapter that I told you you're going to need. You plug it up in your iPad or your computer or whatever. You transfer the videos over to your editing software. Now you're ready to edit. You edit your video. It's done. It's downloaded. It's ready to go. For people who have a phone I've, or who's recording with their phone, obviously you're not going to need none of those things. All you're going to do is go to your editing software and then you're just going to take the videos from your phone put them in the editing software and edit the video step 7.5 create a thumbnail um you need a thumbnail you need a cover of your video let me put y'all on game real quick let me tell y'all the real tea when you are a beginner youtuber you don't have that many supporters you don't have that many subscribers you got to work your ass off for these thumbnails that's why i said you need to be taking pictures of literally everything you might not even use them all but you need them because you have to make a thumbnail as aesthetic as possible for people to want to click on and the thing is once you once your channel is popping and you got 50k and 100k subscribers i promise you them people don't be giving a dang about a thumbnail most of the youtubers i watch they at 100k or whatever them youtubers they be posed up like this and somehow, I don't know how they be getting it, but they put a fake mansion in the background of that video, and that's it. And they might put a little emoji in the corner of the screen, and you got thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of people clicking. Once you get established, nine times out of ten, you don't have to work as hard. But once you down here with me in the trenches of YouTube... I'm not taking nothing for granted though. Love my trenches. Anyway, once you're down here, you do have to work harder. So like you have to piece together your thumbnail. That's where the Canva is going to come in hand. You can search up on Canva YouTube thumbnail template. There are so many templates, so many different templates. And you can literally delete their picture, delete their words, and put your pictures and your words in. Boom. That's the, that's how I create my um my thumbnails. My cat is meowing. Please ignore him. I'm not sitting there creating no thumbnail, girl. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. And quite frankly, I don't have an artistic mind to be able to piece together collages to make them very aesthetically pleasing. I use the t the uh, templates on Canva. Thing is, Canva is free. However, if you want to use the more advanced templates and features, you do have to pay. I did pay. You don't have to use what you can and, you know, go from there. Step eight, upload your video. You go to the YouTube studio and you are going to press upload. You're going to upload that file of the video that you saved. You're going to put it on there. There are many things that you need to fill out. You need to fill out the title, create a, uh, create a title. Um, one of the things that I do, if I decided to go post the um, self-care day, so many people have posted videos like that. I go. I go search that up in the search bar and then I go look at all the videos and how did they put their title and what did the girly Rebecca put on her title and how did she do her thumbnail that made a million people want to click on it. I take that knowledge and that advice. I go over to my video and I don't copy it verbatim. But even if you did, girl, I'm keeping it real with y'all. Even if you did copy the title, you know how many people post this video with the same title? Like, nobody cares. But, you know, do throw your own little one to one to in. Like, you don't have to copy her verbatim or him verbatim. But 
kind of take your advice. I told y'all y'all need to be watching YouTube and doing your research. So I kind of look at somebody formatted their title. I go format my title in the same way. I figure out what I want my video to say. I might add a little emoji in there. I might add a couple choice words. Like, let me go see. Y'all know I love a good example. So we always going to go back to my channel. Okay. So for this video that y'all loved, okay. My first YouTube paycheck, put a couple of exclamation marks in there. What did I just press? I put a couple of exclamation marks in there and then I put how to make money on YouTube plus how much I made with 1,000 subscribers, okay? So many YouTube check videos out there, I've seen that people put that extra in there, so I put that extra in there, okay? And then stuff like, okay, this had 18K views. I did hygiene plus self-care shopping at Target plus hygiene routine. Then I put another bar right there and I said smell good all day, feminine care. Like sometimes you got to throw a little extra something something in your channel. Sometimes you can't just be like Target run and that's it because people don't, won't want to click on it unless you're well established. Okay. It's just, that's just the game. Like you have to play the game. You got to do what you got to do. Okay. So you want to throw your title in there. You want to put in your description. I use the same uh, a tip that I've learned recently is that I put the same description in every single video. I copy and paste. The only thing I change is at the bottom. Um, I keep my subscriber count at the bottom of the description. You might notice if you scroll down um, in my videos because it's conducive for me to understand how much my channel has grown. Like I can go back to a video from nine months ago in which I had like 28 subscribers and be like, wow, like, okay, in eight months, I went from 28 subscribers to 5,000 subscribers. So I like to put that down there. That's the only thing I changed. How I figured out how to do that is I was looking at other creators, other big creators, um, like descriptions, and I realized they would introduce themselves. They would say, thank you for watching. I really hope you liked the video. Don't forget to check out another video and put that up in there too. And then if they had um, timestamps, they would put their timestamps in the video and, you know, their links and they'll keep it pushing. So I just learned to do the exact same thing. It saves time, um, alleviates a couple of stressors, and, yeah, um, it makes the uploading process easier. And so, yeah. Um, there's a lot of videos on how to upload your YouTube videos. I would suggest y'all watch them because if I literally went step by step on every single thing I do when uploading the video, my head would burst because I have to do extra things because I'm monetized to be able to upload. So watch a video on how to upload your YouTube videos if you need in depth on how to. But for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Water break. Step 10. We almost there, y'all. Step 10, promote the video. Promote your video. Like, stop playing. Why are you playing? Why are you playing? At the end of the day, nobody is going to be laughing at you for promoting your video and be like, oh, she thinks she want to be a YouTuber when you're making it money. Because I was scared to promote my little videos. I'm like, at the end of the day, like, oh, I could try to promote it. But it's the same people on my Instagram. They're not going to watch it. If they didn't watch it before, they're not going to watch it now. So what? Anyway. You get new followers every day sometimes. Sometimes you don't, but sometimes you do. Promote your video wherever you want to promote it. If you want to promote it on Facebook, all you have to do is post your thumbnail. You don't even have to post clips of the video. Post your thumbnail on your Instagram story, on your Facebook story, your Facebook timeline, and say, hey, new video out. Go check, go watch, and put the link in there. Either they're going to click or they're not, but why would you not promote your video? You know, it's best to try to get it out there. On TikTok, if you want to post a couple funny little clips or nice clips or aesthetic clips that you um, have it from your videos and you want to upload that to TikTok, hey, new video out now, why not? Promote your videos. People are never going to know that you're doing YouTube or that you're putting yourself out there unless you actually put yourself out there. There's nothing wrong with being like, hey guys, check out this video. Even if one person goes, goes and checks it out, even if nobody goes and checks it out, this will help build your confidence a lot, okay? Promote your videos, promote, 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 okay? Even when you're doing a video, promote. Y'all see, usually when I'm doing a video, I'm like, oh yeah, in that last video I did, if you have not went and watched that video I did when I was over there, Telling Sally and Susie that I didn't like her shoes. You need to go watch that right now. But let me tell you about them shoes. So we, you know, like promote your video even in your video. Like, you know, so promote. Step 11. Step 11, keep 
going, y'all. Keep going. So many people have been in my comment section of this last, oh, not this last video. I didn't post like two videos since then. But hold on. Y'all. These are all my comments. So if I haven't replied to your comments, sorry, but baby, girl, <laughs> I don't have the time of the day. I have homework. Okay. But um, so many people have replied to my comments in the comments of my video and they're like, oh, like I'm discouraged. I'm only at 500 subscribers. I'm only at 28. I'm only at five. I only gained one subscriber in the past two months, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all, YouTube is hard. It is literally, quite literally, the hardest platform to grow on. Because the thing is, I mean, proof in the pudding, y'all. Look, 71,000. 71,000 people watch that video. Only 2,000 people subscribed. 71,000 people watch that video. Only 2,000 people subscribed. The next video got 1.3K views. The next video got 600 views. Y'all, it's not kind of like a linear thing. Like you don't just one video burst up and go and then you just keep going and going and going. No, I have videos in between big videos. I have a video with 476 views, 455 views. And the videos before that was 21 views, 21,000 views, 32,000 views. So one moment you can get 100K views and the next moment you can get five. YouTube is not a linear type of thing. You have to keep going. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. I'm telling you, you cannot get, get discouraged and quit because the thing is, if you're not going to post, why would I subscribe to you? Right now, I have 37 videos. Okay. I got 37 videos, 5,000 subscribers. At least give yourself between 40 and 50 videos before you just like, you know, nothing is going nowhere. If you feel like genuinely if you feel like nobody is going to subscribe to your content or your content is really not getting no views at all maybe you need to reevaluate reevaluate what kind of videos you're doing maybe you need to reevaluate what your thumbnail looks like maybe you need to reevaluate okay maybe i can do a couple trendy videos because people don't just want to watch me talk i tell y'all that in every video people don't just want to watch you talk obviously like, when I do videos like this, I get 71,000 views. When I do vlogs, I get like 600 views. But I don't care because at the end of the day, my channel is going to go. And people who stick around are going to stick around. If I was in, my lowest views of videos, I think, was like 200 views. Sorry, y'all. I think my lowest video views I've had on my channel is probably like 200 views. Maybe less than that. Y'all, if I was in a room with 200 people right now, I would not know how to talk. These are real life people, y'all, not just bots. On TikTok, these people just, they just keep swiping. It's not that personal. YouTube is a little harder to grow on because people are watching you talk for 20 plus minutes. So be patient and keep going and keep posting. Your channel is not going to get traction and nobody's going to watch if you just stop posting because you're not getting no subscribers. If when I had 28 subscribers for three months straight and then I grew only to like 120 and then I grew again to like 250 and then I grew again to 300 and then I grew again like I didn't just blow up overnight my channel grew consistently over a year if I stopped at 28 subscribers I wouldn't be here and I got paid y'all <laughs> for that last video I'm not gonna hold it to you I got paid almost $400 so I'm telling y'all it pays off just keep going okay step 12 Step 12 in the very last step on how to become a YouTuber. Believe in yourself. That sounds so corny, but you have to. Realistically, nobody else is going to believe in you. I promise you they're not. I'm not going to lie to you they're not. It just is what it is. I think I only had two people who like were really like, oh, okay, girl, you about to start your YouTube channel. Like, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. And... I think that was Didi and my boy best friend at the time. I don't think nobody else took me seriously. Nobody really cares that much. I'm not going to lie. Um, if somebody came to me probably a year ago and was like, yeah, I'm going to do YouTube. I'd have been like, um, like, <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. Nobody's going to look at you and say, oh, he going to be the next Deshae Frost. Nobody's going to look at you and be like, oh, yeah, that right there. 
SJ Cinco. Nobody's gonna look at you and be like, oh yeah, that's Monet McMichael. Nobody's really looking at you thinking that you're gonna be making millions and hundreds and thousands on YouTube and that you're gonna be the next big creator that they can watch or and you know making all this money and that you're gonna be getting brand deals and all that. Nobody's gonna look at you and think that. So when you say, Oh, I'm doing YouTube and it becomes like this discouraging thing and people don't believe you can do it and nobody around you is encouraging you, so what? Encourage yourself. Believe in yourself. YouTube is hard. It's a long process and it takes a big confidence build. Like when I tell y'all, I have to see myself on this camera. When I'm editing, I have to see myself on this camera. I have to see the lace. I have to see the mistakes in my hair. I have to hear myself butcher words every two seconds because I know I can't talk. I got to see myself do corny things and I'm like, ew, like girl, why are you like this? Cut that out the video. I have to see myself because I'm on the camera being myself. It takes a confidence build. I'm trying to lose weight now. I have to see myself be 190 pounds when I know I used to be like 130, 140. So you see what I'm saying? But I still have to show up and do the videos even though I'm in the process of working on myself. Even though I'm in the process of fixing this or that. Even if my hair effed up. Even if I don't feel the prettiest that day. I have to have enough confidence in myself and believe in myself enough and believe in my channel enough that... I can show up on here on my worst day and still put videos out and figure it out. It takes a huge confidence boost and you have to believe in yourself because nobody else is going to believe in yourself. People love people love it for me now. People are excited for me now. People are posting my things now. People are like, congratulations now because I'm making my money. Yay. And sometimes that's all it takes. And like, that's not to bash people around me or bash people that may be around you. But the truth of the matter is, just like I said, if one of the people that I knew in my life right now or one of the people I knew in my life from like high school or something a year ago if they were coming to me and like yeah girl I'm gonna do YouTube I'd have been like oh like oh like I wouldn't have took them seriously and that's just I mean it is what it is so like you're not looking at I'm not looking at nobody right now and be like yeah she gonna have 100k subscribers she gonna be big like that's just not realistic in life like we kind of separate social media and real life so you kind of don't look at people and think that so other people around you are probably not thinking that either. So you have to believe it for yourself. Listen, <laughs> I tell myself every day, like, yo, when I got 100K subscribers, when my little plaque, when my plaque is on my wall, it ain't going to be this wall. But when I have a nice little high rise and it's so sexy up in there and my husband, you know, he coming home and I got my dinner and I look over my plaque right there. Like, I think about stuff like that because I gotta if you don't want more for yourself who gonna want it for you like I don't know so you gotta have built this confidence about yourself and it takes time and you have to give yourself grace and you have to really believe in yourself because the thing is you can't rely on other people to support you or to believe in you um you kind of have to do it yourself um nine times out of ten the people that are subscribing to your youtube channel are your supporters once you get 100k and you got that plaque on the wall it ain't gonna be ting ting poo poo and man man that you knew today it's probably gonna be ting ting poo poo and man man that you don't even know that was supporting you that got you where you are so you can't really always rely on the validation from people in your life to have you keep going you really need to build that confidence for yourself i believe that that is everything that is 12 steps on how to become a youtuber i really hope this helped y'all out y'all y'all know how i get down if you need to dm me and ask me more questions do it y'all know i will respond if i have not got back to replying to you i am sorry i am busy I am tired, okay? But I'm going to get back to you, okay? DM me if you have any questions. Definitely drop a comment and let me know more of what y'all want to see. Do not make me punch out in the back of the head because we are supposed to be best friends, okay? Go watch some other videos. Go watch some other videos. I want to be able to vlog and do me and be me, and I'm going to continue to do that. But I would love if y'all would watch those videos too because I be having a good time. And I want y'all to have a good time with me. Okay? So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop a comment if you have any questions, if you have any concerns. Y'all know I always say, if you have nothing to say, just say, hey, girl. Hey, y'all know I'm going to say hey back. It is October. It is the fall time. I have videos coming for y'all. I just, I got to bounce y'all. I got to go to work 
five days a week. And then I gotta go to night school twice a week. So really, I don't have time for much but what I'm going to do is when I do have time, make sure that I am getting videos out for y'all. So I got to still go fall shopping, decorate my home for the fall time. We got a couple few things we need to do and I desperately need to clean my home. So I'm probably going to do a monthly reset video with y'all since it is the beginning of the month. I have a lot of things that I want to do and not that much time to do it. But because I love y'all, y'all are my best friends and I love doing this and it is a passion for me. I'm going to try to dedicate my time to make sure that I can get videos out for y'all so but please bear with me because a couple of y'all have been commenting which I ain't mad at y'all I hear y'all y'all clocked me caught it okay a couple y'all been commenting like girl you have not been posting like get on your zoom somebody did DM me and say baby you ain't posted and I'm finna crash out don't crash out <laughs> don't crash out listen I am trying I'm going to try my very best please work with me y'all because I'm about to be exhausted but I got a couple goals and I got bills. So, your girl got to do what she got to do. I'm only 22. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> grandma not mad. Grandma just hurt because I haven't worked in a year. And now I am working to pay my bills. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow my social medias below. And, yeah, I'm going to go eat this dinner. So, I love you. God loves you. He has amazing, amazing plans for your life. Bye, bestie. And if you're creating a, a channel, good luck on your channel.